Welcome everyone to another video. Today we are celebrating Diz Giving and welcome to our family Thanksgiving table. Um, we love to gather around this table and just celebrate each other and celebrate love and family and I'm very thankful for them. So can't wait to share this video with you all. What's up guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in a really, really cool collaboration called Diz Giving. So this was something that Jocelyn put together last year and I was so lucky to be invited to be a part of it this year. But there's so many Disney YouTube collaborators and creators that are doing this together food drinks all the things sharing all the food all the rest so if you guys want to see what I made which is a pumpkin or it's gonna be because I haven't made it yet but <laughs> if you guys want to see what I made it is a plant-based coffee cake which is pumpkin um, I'm very very excited to make it because I've never made it before but a lot of you guys know that I eat plant-based so if it's something that you're wanting to try just know that food still tastes really really good even if it's plant-based so I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and I'm also gonna share the recipes so let's just hop right into it. So I don't often do a lot of cooking things just because my channel is more geared towards Disney, but I really love to cook and my family loves to cook. So we do have a lot of stuff that we use for cooking and that we make often. My mom hand makes everything. Um, so I've actually never made a coffee cake before, but I really wanted to try it. I am definitely much more of a cook versus a baker. Baking is much, much more precise, but if you like that precision, then baking is exactly the thing for you. But I'm really excited to try this because it's a pumpkin flavored coffee cake that's plant-based, which means it has no dairy in it, um, no eggs, no anything that is plant, you know, not animal-based. So it's all plant-based. So if so you have a dairy allergy or if you're lactose intolerant, you just can't digest dairy, this is gonna be something that's awesome that you could probably try, um, and hopefully for Thanksgiving. What's also really nice about this and coffee cake is that you could freeze it and it will last pretty long so if you just feel like you want to have one piece um, cut them up into different pieces and freeze them and then take them one out individually um, then it's pretty awesome but let's go ahead and start making uh, some pumpkin coffee cake I'm very very excited so a lot of the materials that I grabbed you can get from any supermarket or any grocery store but I just so happen to get these from Target um, so I just have pumpkin puree in a can and then I have pumpkin pie spice and then a lot of the other things in the recipe are kind of things that you'd probably already have in your pantry like flour uh, maybe brown sugar I already have almond milk on hand but if you guys don't have any non-dairy milk and you try to want to try to make it non dairy you can always pick up non-dairy milk they have almond milk they have soy milk they have all rice milk oat milk they've got all kinds of dairy free milk now so it's going to be up to whatever you like um it does specify unsweetened but they have unsweetened they have sweetened they have vanilla they have original they have a bunch of different flavors so it's going to be up to you but i'm going to stick with what the recipe says and yeah so i just got a bunch of these at target and let's go ahead and start making <laughs> So in the next many clips, you'll see me starting to add ingredients to my bowl. I have two mixing bowls, and I'm using um, the first bowl for my dry ingredients. Um, you, please don't get mad at me, I'm not the most precise baker, so I just do a lot of like what I think looks right, and please don't hate me, because I know that that's not right. Um, but I will leave all of the ingredients down below, because um, the d directions and the actual recipe will guide you a lot more than I can. I know I'm supposed to level off flour too, please don't hate me. Um, but yeah, here is all of the steps of just adding the dry ingredients and then I move into the wet ingredients and then I mix the two together. A fun fact, this is actually my favorite almond milk, the unsweetened original one from uh, Califia Farms. Um, if you could get it on sale at Target, sometimes it's on sale. Oh, it is the best to me. As you can see here, I'm doing a little um, wet ingredient happy dance because I'm very excited um, about making this because it was yummy. Um, also, fun funny story about this Drew apron, which uh, it is my apron, but my name is not Drew, obviously. Um, but that's another day for another story. Um, so I'm just mixing together all of my ingredients, my wet and my dry ingredients. Um, and then when we get to this next part of actually like putting them together, 
I mixed them in and then the instructions were to fold it and all I thought about was <laughs> fold in the cheese, David. <laughs> David, fold it in. What does that even mean? Fold in the cheese, fold it in. So I was just like screaming in that in my head. So if you know what that's from, leave me a comment down below. Fold in the cheese, David. Um, and then here I am making the crumbly little topping for the actual coffee cake itself. Um, I also sprayed my, oh, there I am doing a little happy dance. I sprayed my pumpkin pan. I did make them in a pumpkin pan, ooh la la. Um, but here I am distributing them evenly into both pans. I probably filled them about a third of the way up, but it gives you other instructions to use a different pan, which I did not have on hand at the time. Um, but after I made my little crumbly topping um, and I poured in my little coffee cake batter, I put the crumblies on top and I preheated the oven to 350. I tried to spread this out as evenly as possible. I think I actually made a little bit more than I needed to, but you know, it's just like all sugar and yumminess. So can you actually have enough of that? Um, it was definitely very sugary though. So you could probably cut that down a little bit if you're not interested in making too much of it. I probably could have used a little bit less, but here I am putting it into the oven and it's time for chow time. Oh, there's the big reveal. It was so good and it smelled amazing. And here was my cut out of it. And I will give you a food review in just a second. Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna take a bite of it. Um, it's cooled down a little bit, but it looks and smells so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. You guys need to try this. It also came with a little like drizzly dressing thing or like an icing, that's what you call it. Um, if you wanted to put that on there as well, but I kind of wanted to refrain from adding more sugar to it um, just because that's a lot of sugar to put in there. Would highly, highly suggest this. Can't wait to have it at Thanksgiving. I just want to say a big thank you to Jossum for inviting me to participate in Diz Giving. Please, please go check out all the other videos that are in this collaboration. You're going to want to see all of them. And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanks for watching.